Rory had a rough time of it before I adopted her. Rory is Christopher's daughter? Babes, I think you're singing is enough. We just got like the hottest tea of this pack. Listen! Hello, and I am pleased to welcome you to the first episode of my Sims 4 Werewolf series, where we will be exploring the Werewolf game pack that came out almost five days ago. I know I am very late to this, but I had some complications with my audio and a bit of a an emotional breakdown so forgive me if i am late to this episode what late to this series i have made a sim her name is Lu luna seymour and that is meant to be like a reference to the moon like the lunar sims the what like the lunar cycle but i have actually told a lie because i didn't actually make the sim i just made some tweaks to a sim that was originally created by Claire Callery on the gallery or Claire Siobhan on YouTube. She's an amazing YouTuber. She also plays The Sims 4 and she also inspired me to create my channels. I just got a sim of hers from the gallery and I've also made a few tweaks of mine and she looks absolutely gorgeous. Now this is actually my first time seeing this world. I have like stopped myself from like watching other YouTubers play. That's exposing me bitch. I have stopped myself from watching other YouTubers play this in for werewolves because I wanted to experience it for myself. I wanted this video to have like my genuine reactions to everything. And let's move into Moonwood Hill. We have five lots. We have a library. This is a bar and that's a residential lot. And so I think we move into the larger lots. We're gonna bulldoze the whole thing. Let's move in. So we are moved in into our lots in Moonwood Mill. So, before we begin, I thought that we are going to make this a Rax to Witches challenge. And we are obviously going to make a storyline for our little Luna Seymour here. Storyline I went for is that she is a runaway criminal. She was a leader of a gang. She's run away, found this abandoned town where she's going to start her life over with zero simoleons because they were caught by the police and now she's a fugitive. So she's on the run. She's lost her gang. She's lost her friends. She's lost her criminal partners, so she's starting afresh with nobody. She's starting afresh, and she's going to move in into this um, abandoned town called Moonwood Mill. And we're just going to see how her story unfolds. Now I'm just going to set her smallions to a hundred. Okay, she's doing a bit of pondering, discover things about herself. And I'm just going to take a look around, because no, it's a Rax to Riches, zero. So we have this bar that we saw in the trailer, which I think we should visit first. Ooh, there's this thing over here. View Moonwood Mill information. Well, but you can walk faster than that, babes. Various old flyers indicate Moonwood Mill was a bustling logging town back in its heyday. Today, it's home to a much smaller community made up of two close-knit groups, the Moonwood Collective and the Wild Fangs. Even without the industry, there's plenty to do, especially during a full moon. Catch the elusive Luna Fish or her vest, the Moon Petal Flower, explore the secrets underground, hang out with the locals or have a howling good time up the mountain overlooking Lake Lon Lunvik. Lunvik? Just don't go near Greg. View the Wild Fangs information. The Wild Fangs are a scrappy, free-spirited group of werewolves. They believe the werewolf lifestyle is the ultimate gift and they're going to make the most of it. The world is the Wild Fangs playground. While exploring the vast world to explore, expand the pack's influence, members are also expected to commit to ongoing self-improvement aiming to become the best werewolf possible. And also view the Moonwood Collectives. The Moonwood Collective is a dignified group of werewolves whose mission embodies the union of lycanthropy. Like, like, is that how you pronounce it? Like, lycanthropy. Members are expected to be tactful, prudent, and diplomatic. They seek to make meaningful connections with all sims. This includes mastering fury control to become more approachable and friendly to non werewolves. View Werby's advisory. Do not trespass in areas marked by signs. Got bit, suspect you might be infected. Stop by the local bar. Moonwood Mill 
bartenders carry a remedy on hand don't forget to get extra rest wash the infected area in the shower and cleanse your barrel system taking a run on the treadmill has also been known to help sweat it out so for this episode i think it makes sense that we just take our time and explore the world and this is also racks to riches so we actually need to find some like source of income so we have a wolf's bane plant which is not yet grown this is the closest place to home so i guess we should visit that oh there's someone here that's the leader the pack leader of the wild Bang. so i think we go introduce ourselves to her friendly introduction and they're talking about werewolves so one thing i've realized is the town isn't really like hiding the fact that they're werewolves they're like out and proud talking about their werewolves putting werewolf graffiti everywhere so they're not like hiding the fact and like they put their werewolf information on that like signpost thing when we came in so that's pretty interesting babes this is not this is not the pack sentiments about rory we find Rory very strong-minded. We think she's very confident and powered. We find her very confident. We find her very self-assured. While we're having a chat with her, I'm just gonna find out what she thinks about us. And she thinks we're emotionally expressive. So she's an apex, which I think is like Sims language for alpha. What's going on? What spa? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna like this while they fight. Okay. Beastly presence. From being near a transformed werewolf. You can never be too careful around werewolves, especially transformed ones. I'm not sure who won, but we're gonna keep talking to her. Let's see if there are any new interactions that come with this pack. Um ask about moonwood hill let's do that i keep calling it moonwood hill but it's actually moonwood mill if i was the werewolf i think i'd want to be a mermaid surprise don't be they also have a connection to the moon you know with the tides and all that did you know that werewolves can stay out of the water longer during a full moon okay so that's like a new thing they added into the map something happened and we lost relationship but i'm gonna keep trying to get to know her welcome wagon so this is the alpha of the other what's it called the other pack so i'm just gonna go introduce myself to him so we're neighbors with the firefighter flirt um let's appreciate him we're neighbors with the alpha of the moonwood collective i think i think that's what that pack is called then i'm gonna ask him his opinion about moonwood hill moonwood mill oh god when you lose control you lose yourself something else takes over and you don't know what might happen Every werewolf is different, but pay attention to the way that your specific temperaments feed the beast inside and try to keep yourself leveled. So he has like a more calm approach to the werewolf thing. I run a tight ship, Luna. When someone is a member of the Moonwood Collective, it should be obvious to any sim from their actions and how they carry themselves. The wild fangs might have the edge on us when it comes to reach, but they can't match our deep understanding of werewolf nature and history. Our track record as good citizens of Moonwood Mill speaks for itself. Their pack is like a more of like, let's control ourselves kind of thing, but we were a criminal before, so I don't think we will like gravitate towards like the Moonwood Collective. Even though we want to join the other pack, we, we should still keep relationships with him. You might not know this, but it takes a whole heck a lot of self-control for a wealth to make sure they're respecting the space and comfort of others, especially on certain nights when the moon's alert is just too strong. Admittedly, there are those among us that are not quite as diligent when it comes to exercising restraint. And yes, I'm talking about the wild fangs. But this is Lily Zoo, and I think we should introduce ourselves to her as well. We think she's a nature maniac, one of these tree-hugging, broccoli-eating, beach walking the sims that think is their duty to criticize every other person's life choices because they're less green than their own or less healthy be that true or not and she thinks we're weird so maybe she's picking up the sense that we don't actually like their cause we're getting along with christopher a lot more than we were getting on with rory maybe they're taking this opportunity to like since we're neighbors they take this opportunity to like win more people to their side but i just think it's going to be a little depressing and boring if we join the moonwood collectives we're werewolves are meant to be wild i'm gonna ask him more about moonwood babes leave the food cake we actually have nothing to eat rory had a rough time of it before i adopted her
Rory is Christopher's daughter. Even if we don't always get along these days, I'm lucky to have had the opportunity to be her father. Babes, I think your singing is enough. We just got like the hottest tea of this pack. So Rory, the alpha or the apex, I don't that sounds very weird. But the apex of the apex of the wild fangs is the adopted daughter of the apex of the Moonwood Collective, which is very interesting. I like when The Sims brings us drama. Let's ask him more about Moonwood Hill. Moonwood Mill. Moonwood Mill. So I'm kind of getting bored of this conversation now. So I'm gonna look for something to explore. I think this is the library and it like looks run down. I love this like roof that has the holes in it. It looks very cool. But I'm just going to have a little chit chat with this. Okay, they're having another fight. And Brittany Cho is there to like scoop up the drama because she loves to see it. Should we ask her about um Christopher? I think we should. Other sim. Ask about other sim. Christopher Volkov. I love this fire pit that like has like old furniture. She didn't did she say anything? Babes babes no. She's leaving. R Rory. R Rory, please don't. I can't Rory, yeah. Okay, the bit clearly has other important matters to attend to. So maybe we get to know Lou. Let's ask him his opinion about Moonwood Hill. Moonwood Mill. Moonwood Mill. How did I end up in Moonwood Mill? Well, I stole a few things I probably shouldn't have, and I was on the run. I figured no one would find me out here in the middle of the wilderness. Guess I was right. So we have a lot of things in common because we also stole some things and ran away. So I think we should become friends with Lou. No no come back here don't leave me like her is she coming back here she is we have an opportunity to like talk to her okay she went in there okay fine okay let's hang out with lou let's ask him about rory i like rory she's pretty we need tea we need something interesting ask about the werewolf packs and ask him more about moonwood mill Ooh, he's a pop and she perceives him as very attractive so this could lead to some very interesting romances because it seems like they have the same storyline they both went into criminal stuff what they're both criminals although in my storyline she's a criminal mastermind and he just stole something and got caught so now he's on the run see this is what i'm saying the sim the wild fangs seem a bit more fun so i'm gonna do more appreciating i'm gonna butter up the stick because i want to join the wild fang and let's ask her about ask about another sim ask about christopher okay i have tried so much to ask her about christopher but she doesn't seem to want to answer Honestly, I don't really like Christopher. So, she doesn't like him. I also kind of want to know his opinion about her. So, I think it is time that we make our way to the library. Okay, we are at the library. And there is this guy over here. Noel. No, Noel. Noel Heck. So, I'm going to introduce myself to him. We need to know as much information as we can about this town that we've moved into. Because... I actually gave her the ambitious trait for a particular reason and for some reason Judith Ward is also here but anyway that's okay he's obviously a librarian I don't know why I asked him about his career but he's a librarian so he should know a lot of things so I'm just gonna ask him about Moonwood Hill Moonwood Mill Moonwood Mill you know what I'm just gonna keep calling him Moonwood Hill I, I feel like I'm used to it already so there's no going back from it. If you moon gaze before going to bed, they say the moon will grant you a special dream. Okay, so we'll definitely be doing that. I don't know if the showers come with... No, they probably don't. But I also love this wood. I don't know if it comes with the werewolf pack, but I love the rundown look of it. I think it's really cool. And I also think this stone, like this brick wall, comes with the werewolf pack, and I also really love it. Also these stairs very industrial looking so for our aspiration we have to become a werewolf try spending some time around werewolf as either friend or foe or explore the deep dark reaches of moonwood mills underground level up to runs pop no more achieve the second tier whatever experience the full moon in order to understand how the moon affects her fury luna needs to experience the entirety of a full moon night Upcoming lunar phases can be tracked via the calendar. Okay, we have a lunar cycle now in The Sims, which I'm extremely excited about. I'm extremely excited to see how it affects like both this occult and other occults. 
but today is sunday and sunday is a new moon and on monday we have the waxing crescent moon on tuesday we have the first quarter moon on wednesday we have the waxing gibbous moon and the thursday we have a full moon i actually have no knowledge about the moon cycle so this is very interesting to me so on thursday we have our first full moon so before that we should we should find a way to become a werewolf before thursday to see how everything works and i also noticed this telescope i am extremely excited that we have this instead of that because that is like one of the worst objects in the sims 4 it is one of my most hated objects in the sims 4 because it's it unnecessarily big which makes absolutely no fucking sense let's look around there's a fishing spot and we actually should fish because we need like money to do something Ooh, portal potties explore the underground tunnels there are these portal potties and they say explore the underground tunnels and over here become a werewolf it says Try spending some time around werewolves as either friend or foe, or explore the, the deep dark reaches of Moonwood Mills underground. I'm gonna let us spend some time fishing, and I think we go explore the underground tunnels. Okay, we're getting real hungry now. We also have to read werewolf book, and there's nothing we can do to fill our hunger in the library. She dislikes fishing. Okay, fine. But now she's going down into the portal potties. Luna takes a deep breath and makes her way into the underground. A lonely howl echoes through the underground, bouncing off the tunnel walls in every direction. Ignore the howl. I mean, we probably won't howl back. We're not a werewolf yet. Luna can make out some light ahead. It must be an exit. Ooh, we didn't find anything. Okay, then let's go home. We are back home, but I think we should go over to the Volkov's house and, you know, see what the situation is and also, like, find ourselves somewhere to sleep also find like something to eat so who we have jacob volkov and christopher volkov in his werewolf form there's also a park here and oh there are plants over here are they harvestable no they're not obviously we have valerian plants did this come with the pack or did, was this always here we have charming mushrooms so i think we spend some time at their house and see if there's anything we can eat we are tired we are cold we are hungry we are not getting off to a great start but it's fine let's introduce ourselves to jacob what introduction i think we should try and get some food i'm gonna see if they're gonna allow me to have a quick meal have a cereal and then maybe we'll just nap on their couch i'm sure christopher wouldn't mind okay so they're not like stopping me from getting cereal which is great i don't know if jacob is christopher's son but it would be fun to find out and when we're done with that i think we should moon gaze because we had a notification if you moon gaze before heading to bed they say the moon will grant you a special dream so i think we should moon gaze Babes, that's terrible manners. Can you please wash that up? Clean that up, babes. I think we should moon gaze before we go to bed. What's moon bathe? Moon bathe. I don't know what that is. But we are doing it. And there is like this separate room. And I think that may be Jacob's. Because, no, there's like a room up here too. So maybe that's Rory's room. Okay, so we're moon gazing or moon bathing. I think we sleep there. I don't know if there are wolves around, but I can hear howling. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but I can hear howling. So let's go and sleep here. And I'm just gonna say that they gave us that room for the night. So hopefully now that we go to bed, we're gonna get a special dream from the moon. I can get this. Harvest, 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 harvest them all. Then we can start our own garden. Babes, it is 7 a.m. Get up. If we didn't get the dream, we're not gonna get it anytime soon. We didn't get any special dreams, which I was really hoping for, but we'll try again tomorrow. And while we're here, I think we explore these underground tunnels. Ooh, just a werewolf in clothes and glasses prancing around. Wolfgang. Wolfgang Wilder. Ooh. Hi, Frida. 
Oh, this is the Moonwood Collective, like, gang handout. What? No, they're not a gang. This is their pack hangouts. And it looks very cute, actually. It looks way cuter than the other guys hangout, but... These guys seem a bit boring, so we're gonna join the Wild Punks because they seem way more interesting. We're going into the underground tunnels. Luna spies something on the ground just ahead. It seems to be moving. As she gets closer, it scatters as she realizes it was a small herd of rats. What could cause them to swarm like that? It's garbage. Okay, let's keep going. Ooh, what's that? Um, no. I forgot that this is a remake of Lilith Pleasance. It's no. Go back in. We need to find something interesting. I forgot that this is a play. This is a remake of Lilith Pleasant, so she goes to university, which we will not be doing, babes. We have no time for that. Can we, like, get rid of it? Keep going. Yes, drop out of university. Let's forget that. Let's act like we didn't see that. She was never university to begin with. What are you talking about? As Luna rounds a corner in the tunnel, she hears that what sounds like a slight rumble or a murmur murmur or a murmur mur murmur murmur i never let out uh, what as luna rounds the corner in the tunnel she hear what sounds like a slight rumble or a murmur or a mur i never learned how, how to pronounce that sound so i never learned how to pronounce that word so i apologize a few steps later the sound gets clearer and scarier something nearby is growling as luna moves towards the sound the growling ceases as she continues to search for whatever was making the noise, her hand lands in something sticky. A quick glance reveals that it's food. It looks like an abandoned snack. Found a fox meat cube. Okay, so we've tried it twice and we haven't found anything. So I'm going to go back home and fix our sleeping and eating situation. And maybe we can also invite Rory around and see if she will give us the cursed bite. Because I have a plan for this series. Okay, let's plant those. We also have valerian roots, known to draw in many species of flies with its fragrant scents. Best keep them away from your home cooking. Okay. We have some valerian roots. We have some mushrooms. And we have some charming mushrooms. Which I don't know what they do, actually. If you're a golden color, we'll give your sim a confidence boost. We also need a toilet. So with our money, I'm going to buy some things. I think we start with the bed, which I'm going to use our garbage mattress from the ravishing Fabulously Filthy because and I'm also going to get our ravishing DIY bucket toilet. We love to see it and we have some money left over. So I'm guessing we get a shower right at the edge of our lot. Um, and that is all the money we have for now. And try again for the last time to explore the underground tunnels. And if we can't, like, get a werewolf opportunity, I'm gonna try to ask Rory to give us the cursed bite. Okay, we are going for the last time into the underground tunnels. <clears throat> On a tunnel straight away, straight away. On the tunnel straight, what? Luna breaks into a light run and is making good time when she suddenly finds herself tumbling head over heels. It was impossible to see in the dark, but there must have been a massive hole in the tunnel floor. Luna ends up on a path some distance below where she started. Okay, sure she fell? Babes, you're not even trying. Okay, fine. Let's invite Rory round. They are just there. Okay, then let's go talk to Rory why are you here yeah she's like no i'm gone this is where the avant-garde were meeting you got the invitation wrong do we go in and act her ask for cursed by rory doesn't know oh try befriending rory first okay let's try getting to know her i heard that you talked down about my skills babies we don't even know that much about you to know your skills so no Let's go to the library together. Mm. 
Babes, we just got here. Okay. The library is not her vibe. So I'm gonna get... Um, what's her name? Okay, she's actually pretty tired. So I think we should head home. Okay, we are back home to our humble abode. There are 5,000 mushrooms and our mattress bed. Let's go to bed. Actually, no. No, babes. I know you're tired. You have to do a bit of moon bathing. Okay. Then I'm going to go to bed. And if this doesn't work, I'm going to attack the librarian because he lied to me. And then I think we should try for the very last time to go into the tunnels. When she's done with that. This should be the fifth time, I think, or the sixth. But we're new to this town and we're exploring. If you are stressing me out. If she doesn't find a way to become a werewolf, we might have to end the episode right there. Luna is making her way through a particularly tight corridor when she notices something give way underfoot. She bends down to check and discovers something. A common object. Babe, bring something of importance or find a werewolf. I'm just saying. As Luna presses on to investigate, the growling grows louder and more vicious by the second. A moment later, she comes upon a hunched form, barely visible against the darkness. It doesn't take long for it to notice Luna. The creature's head turns, and its entire frame rises up, revealing a wild-looking werewolf. It leaps towards Luna, and a scuffle breaks out. Luna is able to eventually break loose, but not before suffering some bites and scratches. Okay. Ouch. Luna got bitten and has contracted werbies. Is this the first step towards becoming a werewolf? Best ask around. Ask? Best ask around Moonwood Mill to see if anyone knows how to cure it before it gets worse. But we will not be doing that because we actually want to become a werewolf and take over Moonwood Mill. We have an evil plan to take over Moonwood Mill, and this is the first step. I'm gonna leave you with this scene right here. Tell me in the comments what you think about our sim. And if you're excited as I am for the next episode, don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe. And while you're in the clicking mood, consider following my other socials on screen or in the description. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Good damn bye. Listen.